never really know how strong you are until you are forced to learn it, <laughs> you know? So I would say in general, overall, the last couple years really just it showed me how strong I am as a woman, as a person. You never know how strong you are and what you can get through and get past. And and that way I'm super grateful because that was a really nice um, discovery about myself that I was a lot stronger than I ever thought. If you want to peek inside the mind and heart of Jenna Dewan, she's got the perfect book to add to your reading list. Gracefully You, I like to say, is a culmination of my true self in a book. It is my, uh, it is everything from my spirituality to a lifestyle book of different tips and meditations that I've learned to also stories that I've had from a kid of my life as a dancer, to poetry that I like, and um, personal stories of you know growth and change I've gone through, and it just sort of kind of thought, became this amazing book that was really therapeutic and really fun to write, and it's just like a beautiful slice of life that I was not expecting to come into my path, it was not something I was looking for to write a book. All of it surprised me because it was new to me. I had never written, I was never an author. The process of how you write a book, how long it takes, how things change, how you sort of write a chapter and then all of a sudden you want to go in and change that because six weeks later you have a different perspective. It shows you how much your perspective can change over a course of time. It just turned into this fun little book that I <laughs> spent two years writing. <laughs> Finding the balance for me was something that was really important to me. The balance between motherhood and being a working mother and connection to something greater than myself and therefore all of that culminating with someone who's gone through a great amount of change and sort of finding the grace in that and like how to elevate all of that and put that into my words. It was important for it to be spoken for me, my words, and something that I feel and how I want to move forward. I had a lot of people come up to me and ask me how, you, obviously you've gone through a lot and you've had some rough years, how did you get through that? Or what do you, a lot of women would come to me and go, do you have any advice for me for starting over and having to start a whole new life? And um, so that inspired me because when I was writing it, you know, initially it was much more of a poetry book and a book on you know, sort of um, my spiritual views on life and, and movement and my dance years. And, and then it became, well, hold on a second, you know, what do we do in this life? We want to inspire and we want to connect with people. I read books to receive a certain perspective and find some sort of inspiration and connection. So I wanted this book to have my words on that. Dewan is living a brand new chapter after the end of her nearly nine year marriage to Channing Tatum. The couple announced their separation in April 2018 and she formally filed for divorce that October. I mean, I think when someone you're together for a long time um, and you've, you just, people grow and they change and they don't always grow together and that's okay. And that was the realization was that life can evolve and change and look differently and then it might possibly be better and it's tough. You gotta get through some really tough times, but it's, it's, a, it's a gradual process of growth and an uh, uncovering of truth. It's something that you know every, every day becomes something a little bit more clear and then you're in a place of, okay, so this is, a, I'm, I'm a new person, I'm a different person and now where are we? <laughs> so it just was a, it was a beautiful, hard journey of growth and change and ultimately now I can honestly say that I'm I'm living in a very joyful new place in my life and I'm happy about it. Dewan and Tatum now share custody of their six-year-old daughter Everly. She is my main priority with everything in my life so she's she's doing really good I'm doing really good I think it's a new normal all of it's a new normal you get used to it all and you, as long as it's done with as much respect and sort of love for everyone involved, it hopefully will always stay that way and you just you learn as you go.
part of another joy of my life and of kind of just the great change I've gone through is just all these, you know, these little magical things that have come into my life that I wasn't expecting. And Steve is the best, most magical thing that's come into my life. Dewan's new love, Steve Kazee, is a Tony Award-winning actor and singer. He's amazing and yeah, you know, it's new. It's new and it's fresh and it's starting over and starting, um, beginning again is always intimidating until then it's happening and I could not be happier. So it's great. What was our first date? That's a really good question. Um, it, well, yeah, it was like we went out for a coffee, I think it was, and it ended up being like 10 hours long. We just started talking. And then I think we spoke on the phone and it was like hours long. It was like an immediate connection. It's really cool. I knew it was special from the beginning. Like the moment I set eyes on him, I knew it was special. And then we spoke and it was as if we had known each other for years. <laughs> it was like, it was like this whole thing. I was like, how long have we known each other? This is insane. And he's just amazing. He's like an incredible person. We're both very, we have the same wants and goals out of life, same values. He's super family oriented. It just works. Sometimes the best things in life, you know, you're not really able to explain or pinpoint what it is. It's a connection, uh, a really like electric connection that just works. And it's been like one of the biggest blessings in my life that I never saw coming. Congratulations are in order for Jenna Dewan and Steve Kazee. The actress and her actor boyfriend are expecting their first child together. Oh my goodness, yup, new, you know, it's exciting. I'm really excited. I mean, my life has really changed, but f I'm so happy. I'm so excited to be expanding my family and everyone around us is happy and excited and it's just like pure joy. It's joy right now. <laughs> Family's so excited. Mom is so excited. Dad's so excited. Everyone is thrilled to be getting another one. That includes Dewan's daughter, Everly, who couldn't be happier to see the family grow. She is thrilled. She is the happiest in the entire world. She is wearing her proud, I'm a big sister ribbon everywhere. She loves it. She can't stop, she always, she, everywhere we go, she pulls up my shirt and she shows people, she's like, my mom has a baby in her belly, I'm gonna be a big sister. And then she's like, touch it. And they're all like, we're good. <laughs> it's like, really cute. I would say uh, naturally over the last couple years, part of my own personal journey was um, discovering who I really was and what I wanted out of life and also creatively what was inspiring to me and I really started focusing on how I wanted to feel and what I wanted to experience in the world of my work. So. A lot of different avenues of create creativity in my life that came about that I was so happy about. Soundtrack is coming out. It's a musical drama um, set in the world of LA. It's five intersecting love stories and told through music, song, and dance. And it's so crazy fun. That show is unlike anything you're gonna see. It's coming out on Netflix end of this year. You can binge them all at one time. You'll never see anything like it. So that's super fun. Um, I'm also doing a show called Flirty Dancing for Fox. It's a uh, it's a dating show with a La La Land sort of vibe to it of um, people who are looking for love, deeply looking for love, and they are sort of put together and they learn a dance and then they come together without ever speaking. They do this dance and they decide if they are, you know, a good match or if they're gonna move forward and have their sparks and there's chemistry. It's an adorable show and I'm, I'm really excited to do that. I had to put in the work, you know. This is not just, this doesn't just happen overnight, you know. So I, I definitely did the inner self work, realized what it was gonna take for me to achieve the life and, and manifest the life and the dreams and the love that I wanted. As somebody who has kind of come through the storm, if you will, you know, was in a moment of, you know, tough stuff that you have to deal with that you weren't necessarily expecting. Um, and knowing what it's like to have to go through pain and trust that the light is on the other side of the dark tunnel, I can say that the, I'm so happy and I'm so 
I'm in a great place and it, it wasn't easy necessarily to get here, which nothing is easy in life, right? But just to know that it's possible and your perspective on life can change, it can change for the better and you'll be fine, you'll have support, you'll make it through and I think for me that was really important for me to, to in life to, re to realize how strong I am and to know that you can come through the end of this, of, of a cycle of pain and feel good. And so I'm just like, I'm happy. I'm in awe of women. I'm in awe of people that are going through anything hard in life. And um, yeah, it can all change for the better.